And there is this thing that these women they do nowadays that, that really trips me. They will come to church and they'll sit in front and they confuse the pastors. Why? Because they wear short skirts. In Lagos, they do you see fine girl, short skirt, they just sit down in front of pastor, confused pastor. Lagos pastors, they try as much as possible not to look. Not to even get distracted. Like a Lagos pastor might be preaching, my brothers and my sisters, <laughs> glory, glory, glory. You see, I want to tell you that you have to be born again. Glory, 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 glory. glory. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. So what they do is that they will try not to go to that part because they don't want to be tempted. But in worry, worry pastors, they will look. But it's hard to look because you are on top and she's below. So they will turn the preaching to something that will make them go down. You see the pastor preaching about repentance. My brothers and my sisters, praise the Lord. You see, I want to tell you that you have to be born again to enter into the kingdom of God. Glory be to God. Before I talk about repentance, I want to tell you that Abraham was a man that was assigned by God to look into the future. So Abraham was directed by God to be moving majestically. Abraham was moving spiritually. Abraham was moving steadily. And God told Abraham to bend down and look into the future. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Jesus is Lord. The future was not clear. Was not clear, but Abraham is a man that has hope and faith and wisdom. Abraham did not give up, he still moved and moved and bent down again. This time he looked, and the future was clear. 